Yo, what is up, my peeps? It's the final top 10 list of 2023. This time, we're going to do top 10 units overall. So, you know, Easy A's, TURs, LRs, it's gonna, you know, all be pulled together. Um, I mean, spoiler alert, most of them are gonna be LRs, obviously. But um, th th there's gonna be a couple of TURs sprinkled in there, definitely. Definitely a couple of TURs sprinkled in there. Um, yeah. So, without further ado, I think we can get this on and cracking. And you know what? I forgot the newest Dokkan Fest. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Let me go grab it. Okay, I have returned. And let's get this on a crack in number 10. Maybe a bit controversial. Um, you can definitely... Th there's definitely a couple spots for uh, number 10. I think the Blues have uh, a case to be made. I think 23rd World Tournament Goku has a case to be made. I think the Androids, the EZA Androids have a very good case to be made. But I am going to go with God Goku. Now, uh, where's God Goku? Right here. God Goku, I'm putting above all of them. A, he has a lot of teams. So that puts him over 16, 17, and 18 for me personally. B, he's more consistent than 23rd World Tournament Goku. So 23rd World Tournament Goku has the high chance to guard. Meanwhile, all you got to get is three orbs with this guy. This guy has a 60% chance to dodge. And at six orbs, he has guaranteed guard. And I've honestly found the six orbs not to be hard at all. But even if for some reason you can't get the six orbs, you still have a more than half chance to survive with three orbs. Um, and then I put him over the blues because I think he doesn't just fall off after turn five. If you don't transform into Vegito by turn by like the end of their intro, like they are sitting ducks. That's why I have this Goku up here at number 10. I think this Goku is incredible. Strong damage, stacks defense reasonably well, has guard, has, you know, the additionals, has the dodge. Um, he has like a kill shot when you, I guess, deform technically into Super Saiyan Goku. I don't use this very often. Um, only time I really think you should use this is if like you're ready to end the fight. He does a lot of damage in this form. So if like if you're ready to end the fight, you can use this. Um, amazing leader skill. Like this is just an amazing character. Amazing character. Love this character. And look at all the teams. Look at all the teams he helps. Realm of Gods, Kamehameha, Exploding Rage, Turtle School, Accelerated Battle. Helps so many teams. Um, next I am going to grab the goat, Ma Junior, Piccolo Junior. He is finally not number one TUR anymore. Well, okay, he kind of wasn't. Dokkan Fest TUR, he was for a while. But um, he's not anymore. It's unfortunate. He has been overtaken. Uh, we, we will get to who overtook him, definitely. We'll, we'll get to him. Um, let's go to Piccolo Jr. right here. Um, yeah. I, so the thing is... My reasoning for God Goku was that he has so many teams. My junior doesn't have that many teams. I'm going to be honest with you. But I actually think he is just so overpowering that I, I like I don't care. I have to put him here. I have to. I like I feel like I'm legally obligated to put him here. Especially after you do the giant form, you come out of the giant form, then you get the active skill. That man's rocking like 800k defense, like before he even supers, and then he supers like five times. He'll have like 1.6 million defense doing 13 million attack stats five times. Insane, insane, and he disables the enemy's act with that. Insane. His only issue is he just doesn't have a lot of teams. Um, I'm I'm mainly running him with Tech Fusion Zamasu. That's where I'm mainly running him. Um, yeah, the rest of these aren't really crazy teams, uh, to be honest. They're really not. Battle of Fate's not bad. 
Earth Threat Fighters isn't bad. Uh, Namekians isn't bad. Tournament participants needs a better leader because 17 and 18 suck. The 17 and 18 suck. Um, but yeah, most of this is just not great. But I think his leader skill is okay. Um, I'm, I like that they gave him three. Uh, but yeah, this guy is just now before the active skill shenanigans. If you put him slot one, like he is gonna get killed, definitely. He's mainly a slot two, a slot three type of unit. But once he does this, oh my god, he, he he's 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 god, he's god incarnate for real. He is like the god of the game. Um, so yep, that is Majunior at number nine. Next, just released on JP, Dragon Fist Goku. Now I debated about putting him here because he's so new, but I think I've seen enough to where I feel like he warrants a spot, definitely. Um, yeah, he definitely warrants a spot. So, d just disclaimer, some of these aren't out on Global yet. Just that disclaimer. Um, this guy is very strong. I think he's really going to be underrated by the community. I think he's very strong. Very, very powerful. Um, yeah. The dodge for this guy is going to come in clutch like he has everything you need he has everything you need he has does he have additionals oh he doesn't have additionals oh that's interesting okay so he actually has crit and dodge he actually doesn't have additionals okay so if you want to go additionals with this guy you can it's not the worst idea ever uh, i think his leader skills okay it's definitely not bad at all um nullification you know always amazing even though it's just unarmed supers but you know Physical fusions, Amasu Red Zone does do this, so like th there is a spot where it can be used. Um, and then the standby, super easy to get. And this is where you get the Dragon Fist. Now, a little bit of controversy surrounding this guy. People really hate the animation for the Dragon Fist and all that. The Kamehameha in this form. I agree, I don't care for the Kamehameha. I don't think the Dragon Fist looks that bad. There's like one shot one like frame a couple frames of it that doesn't look great but other than that i don't think it looks bad um the dragon fist does a lot of damage he has a scouter it's super easy to get all you have to do is just put him in front of a super attack and he'll automatically counter it um he uh what you call it supports right and um he has a 90 percent chance to dodge if i'm not mistaken yeah if HP is 59% or less, he has a he has a 90% chance to dodge for the turn. And oh, and so, some people have asked this. Uh, I have seen some people ask this on like Twitter and whatnot, even Instagram. Um, the nullification will always come first. That like it's in the code for this character. It will always come first. Well, it's in the code in general. Nullification will always hit before dodge. If the nullification doesn't work then the dodge has the chance to proc but nullification will always come first or in this case count but you you get what i mean um that will always prop first um but and then once you do the dragon fist for that turn he has a hundred percent chance to guard man like he guaranteed guard after he does the dragon fist if it doesn't kill the first if it doesn't kill him he has a hundred percent chance to guard in his next turn ridiculous ridiculous this guy is easily the second best to you are um drag don't confess to you are overall to you are he's third best um but yeah this guy is this guy is crazy this guy is insane and next is his counterpart harutagarn now i debated this i heavily debated this i didn't know if i wanted to put harutagarn up here the problem with good old hero here Good, good old Harudagarn. His issue. Look at these categories, bro. Resurrect the Warrior sucks. Movie Bosses sucks. Transformation Boosts, okay. Like, it's just okay. Time Travelers, okay. It's, it, it, time, travel, time Travelers isn't bad. Planetary Destruction sucks. Story Figures sucks. Legendary existence, existence, not very good. He's literally just held back, and his, and his leader skill isn't great either. He's literally just held back because he has no category. He has no team. That's his issue. I'm going to call him the best Dokkan Fest TUR, but it's just like this guy has no team. That's his issue. He has no team. Um, but you look at what this guy can do himself, like it's insane. 70% chance to dodge. Uh, and then you get to the Harutagon perfect form. He's dodging all over the place. 
I've, I've seen Truth's video, like, yo, I think Herudegard just hates him. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Hilarious. But, um, yeah, Herudegard is just, like, very, very strong, hot, super high defense. Just in case he doesn't get the dodge off and he gets hit. Super high defense. Um, this guy can definitely sell for you, but it's like, what character in the game, like, Orange Piccolo can sell for you. Bulma, the goddess of the game, can sell for you. Like, it can happen. It happens sometimes. Um, but yeah, this guy, incredible, definitely worthy of a Dokkan Fest, and worthy to be the number one Dokkan Fest you are. Um, next, we are going to grab, finally, we're going to break the TR train a little bit. We are going to grab the LR Super Saiyan Trio, I like to call them. Um, the LR Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Trunks from the Android 13 movie. I have them at six here overall in the game, but this is like my favorite character in the game right now. I love this character so much. I love running this character. I love the Super Saiyan team. They do gobs and gobs and gobs and gobs of damage. They are they are very solid defensively. You know they have the 30% damage reduction for five turns, and you you have to remember, um, fights aren't lasting that long anymore. Fights aren't lasting that long. Fights are lasting like what? Six turns, seven turns? So you'll be fine. Put him in slot two. They do what oh, and they greatly raise their defense uh for three turns on 18 key. Um they didn't put the defense on 12 key, 12 key because then they'd have like 2.6 million defense with 30% damage. Like they would They'd be number one in the game, and then there'd be like seven spots, and then orange pickle. Like, it, it would be that crazy. It, it'd be that insane. Like, they, they wouldn't be able to die. Like, they wouldn't die. They would not die. Um, but yeah, very strong unit. Um, they're a nuker, but I don't think the nuking is really that bad. Well, they're a kind of a nuker, right? Um, they, they create int key spheres, and then they get an additional attack that has a high chance of being a super for every three key spheres obtained up to three. So, you can super... Then additional, 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 and then hidden potential. Yeah, so five. And then you could do the active skill where all those become crits. And then their activation is super easy. All allies in the same turn are Super Saiyan start from the third turn or starting from the sixth turn. Easy, super easy active skill. Um, they help these teams that they're on. I, just an amazing unit. I love this. I love this unit. I love this unit. I love this unit. Love them to death. The, I have them at six overall, but this is probably like my favorite unit in the game right now to use right now. Next, quite possibly the biggest turnaround for a themed celebration ever in Dokkan history. Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is number five on my list. Oh my god, they actually did it. Vegito, Limit Breaker Vegito, like, oh my god, man, he is. Like he is just that good. He is he he truly, truly is that good. I, like coming from heroes last year, like I could just pull this up, right? I could just pull up heroes last year. Like, where are they? We had the limit breaker Super Saiyan fours, Goku and Vegeta, and we had Hearts last year. Like awful. Hearts was okay, but the Goku and Vegeta were just terrible. And then you turn it around. And around this time, I was saying, you know what? Heroes is overrated, bro. I don't like heroes at all. But Omatsu, I'll give credit where credit is due. You shut me up this year. This Vegeta, and I think the Rosé is very underrated. That Rosé is pretty solid. Um, But this Vegito, he's God. He's God. Look at this. 30% damage reduction for the first six turns. And then he gets another, I know it's here. 30% damage reduction when all allies in the same turn are Giant Ape or Crossover. 60% damage reduction for the first six turns. And then he don't his, my only issue is that he doesn't get defense right here. That's my only issue. Right? My only issue. His active skill, all crits, very easy to do. It's the same condition as the Super Saiyan Trio. It's just for this Vegito, it's crossover. Um whole bunch of chance to crit. 70% chance to crit. Um that, like he's just a very strong unit. Very strong high stats um like he's actually kind of like he feels better than all the dokkan fest like he's just that strong 
He's that strong. He truly is. He's that great. Amazing character. I love the animations. I love the intro. I love the active skill. Now, I hate that his active skill isn't voiced on global. Uh, just FYI, like it's not voiced on global. Nothing of him is voiced on global. A little annoying because it's not like Vegito says anything like super specific to that form. He just says a typical, you know, Dragon Ball line. So, eh, it is what it is. But incredible character. Um, yeah, nothing more I need to say on this guy. Just incredible. And then we get to the top four. I mean, the top four we've we've talked about, you know. End on end on end. Um, oh, where did I just put him? The GT Goku is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. You already know how this goes. Um, future Gohan. Um, and then you have Bulma. And then the GOAT. The GOAT running on for a year now. And Beast and Least Gohan couldn't even be top five on release crazy how they did my boy gohan he deserves a retry um but the go to the game orange piccolo um i mean i've already talked to death about these guys i'll bring them up sure but i've already talked to death about these guys I, there's nothing really more for me to say um all right let's bring up goku right um he's a duo unit so he'd be down here come on where is he where is he boom Okay, um, yeah, uh, anybody that tells you this guy is mediocre defensively, I'm sorry, they don't know how to play the game. This game, th this guy is crazy. Because he could quadruple super if you're lucky and have that 40% damage reduction already. And then by the next turn, super once he'll have the 50%. Boom, you're done. Within two of their turns, you already built them up. Already. 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 They hit very hard, they can quadruple super. Um, th they can't go in slot one that I will agree. They can't go in slot one, but slot two and slot three They can hold it down very strong leader skills still even to this day. Oh my god These guys are about to be a year old man, and they're still top five it's crazy and then there's standby, you know, the, the Vegeta um, Has the support but that doesn't really matter because he always dies super quick to get the spirit bomb and This is one of the units where I would say, you know crits could really help to really maximize the damage on that spear bomb because that spear bomb will hurt the opponent i promise you that spear bomb is wild so yeah amazing amazing unit um and uh let's go to gohan gohan was third so let's go to gohan um i mean gohan i i would say is a little bit better than them slightly slightly that's interchangeable Gohan can go slot one for the first few turns because he has like 80% damage reduction. Um, his active skill is very strong and provides a permanent buff. His domain is the reason why I put him above uh, these guys. I love these guys, but like future Gohan's domain increased damage received by extreme class enemies by 30%, bro. Insane. Uh, it's guaranteed crits and performing active skill or in key is 24. After you bop the active skill, this should be easy. Um, it's just like, yeah, bro. He's just a super strong unit. Doesn't do as much damage as these guys, I don't think. But a very strong, very strong defensive unit. Um, and next, the goddess of the game. In my opinion, the second best character of the game. I mean, you could argue number one, too. I'm not gonna argue with that. You can't argue with her as the best still. Um, but Bulma. Sorry, Bulma's still top three in the game. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm like, guys. Bulma, Bulma's just, she's that girl, bro. Bulma is that girl. She is. She gets stronger as the fight goes on with her stacking damage reduction each turn. So by the end of the fights, she'll be, like, she'll be fine. She'll be set. She has support. She has the additionals. Her active skill is basically just a giant nuke she drops with it being super effective against all types seven turn from the start of battle i don't mind this because there's no hp restrictions there it's just turn and then you can do it she guards for seven turns like come on bro ridiculous ridiculous super strong but in my opinion not as strong as the best unit in the game orange piccolo slash power awakening piccolo my god this guy's been on top for a year like, it's official. He came out December 28th, 2022, right? January 3rd, 2024. He's been, he's, he's been on top for a year. 
he has been on top of Dokkan for a year. Insane. Insane. I mean, there was a couple points I may have said Bowman was better, but, like, he was always right there for number one the entire time. But, guard, damage reduction. If you get lucky, he has the heal down here that'll get him uh, overall 50% damage reduction and a full heal. Very strong attack. This orange piccolo can cancel out boss supers and just... And, he slows the fight down to a crawl, but oh my god, the amount of damage he does. He can super, if you get lucky and get him for three turns, he can attack three times each time. He can super, what, 27 times? Insane, bro. Insane. Easily the best unit in the game, bro. Well, not easily. I'm not going to say easily, but definitely the best unit in the game. But here is my top 10 units overall list. So, you know, easy A's, even though there aren't any easy A's in here. Um, what you call it? TURs, LRs. Like I said, uh, 16, 17, and 18 can you could definitely make a case that they're 10. Um, I just like that Goku has more teams to be used on. The Blues, you could definitely make a case. Zamasu, you could 100% make a case. Um, even Trunks, I feel like to an extent you can make a case. Uh, but yeah, that is my list, and I am sticking to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more Dokkan Battle content such as this. I'll we'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. I love y'all. Happy New Year. Peace.